It looks like a horse, sounds like a horse, and walks like a horse. Well, the, the, I've been around this since they started here, and oh, they're amazing. So much so that a retired professional rodeo cowboy will even vouch for them. They're not creating monsters. They're, I mean, these horses are as real and as natural as anything you've ever seen in healthy. Clint it's, Johnson uh, owns a few Broncos that buck just like the famous horse he used to ride. Like these foals, they are clones, genetic copies made in a lab. Hundreds of years ago, man decided to breed animals for an intended purpose, whether that was for recreation, for companionship, or for food. Um, cloning is just another step in that process. Blake Russell is the CEO of Viagen. His Austin, Texas-based company clones livestock, including cattle, sheep, pigs, and horses. Cloning is an amazing technology to turbocharge those breeding programs, but is it any more playing God than any of the other technologies? The company collects tissue samples, preferably from a living animal, and with the DNA from those cells, the lab produces embryo copies through a process called somatic cell transfer. We named her Chloe, and she's three years old, and this is one of the reasons why we clone. Um, we take an animal that wasn't fertile, and and obviously she couldn't produce any genetics. She'd been to the national finals 19 times in a row uh, since she was three years old. And, and here we have her back and we can breed her to, to whatever we want. Very in this case, competitive horses. Viagen's biggest share of customers are people that want to reproduce their polo, rodeo, or competition riding horses. The company claims its success rate in getting cloned embryos to newborn animals has climbed, but admits the process isn't perfect. Cloning competitive horses is a touchy subject. Only this year, the governing body over equestrian events okayed the use of clones in competitions like the Olympics. But the problem with just copying the DNA is like taking a book and all you copy are the letters in the book. And you don't copy the spacing between the words or the punctuation. Dr. Kevin Fitzgerald, a bioethics and cloning expert, says even when you do clone, don't expect a replica of the being you remembered. So if that's your goal, then the question is, are you going to get there and is it worth the cost? Viagen says its customers want the benefits clones provide for future breeding. Those buying Viagen's services are paying thousands. You know, they're a little bit different in the, in the white that's on them, but their personalities are so similar. They're getting equines relatively equal to what they once loved. John Moan, Associated Press, Dallas.